because it is. <laughs> it, Belinda, you got to watch it. It's just so funny. Now, I don't know where Tiffany came from, but I'm going to start out taking some phone calls, and we're, we're actually going to start with Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. What's up? Hi, I just wanted to call because I disagree with you about um, when you drew the example about Americans not being liberty-loving, and you drew the comparison that a woman in um, Afghanistan who's trying to overcome the suppression of the Taliban and everything they felt about women and all that stuff and the woman in Africa and things like that. But where me and you draw a discrepancy because, you know, I know a lot of people say they agree with most of the things that, the things you say, and I actually do, but I disagree with you about that because it's like you're not even listening to what you yourself are saying because you, in the same sense, will turn around and say that urban blacks or, you know, the black women in America and so forth and so on, your position on that is that if you're on welfare and or if you have any kind of government assistance or if your kids go to public school, then that's them depending on the government, and that's where in the hell did black come into this? Well, but, no, no, no. Well, I, well, I'm speaking specifically. Of, okay, we can, we can, we can even cut. We, we can. Well, we no, can. I mean, why did you find it necessary to take this whole discussion about where are the brave people? And okay. you know, I, okay. you know, okay. and then I'll all of a sudden, you had to make it about race. That. And even your position now about me about me making it a black thing, I I, I even I even think you you do that often. To, to to I think you're erroneous in that. And and I'm gonna and I'm gonna and, and erroneous in what? Okay, listen. I'll take away the black component if that bothers you. Okay. I'll take I, it away because it's asinine, not okay, because it okay, bothers okay, me. Okay, it's asinine. Okay, it's asinine. You you don't see what I'm saying? So yeah. It's asinine. Okay. I, okay. I'll take that away. I'll just say any group of people anywhere who are suppressed. Who are who, where their liberty has been suppressed in any way, form, or fashion? I'm only using that as an example. Have you been suppressed? Well, of course I have. How? Of course I have. How? You, just let me finish my point. No, I, I want you to tell me how you've been suppressed. Okay, it, I, I've been suppressed in, in in a mental way, and it's a direct oh. effect. It's a direct effect of of, of a it's a cultural kind of thing, and it it is a direct effect of slavery. And oh it's God, way, you yeah effect. you're you're suffering from slavery, right, Tiffany? Yeah, Slay, you're am. suffering from sl oh no, God. Am, when do you hard stop hard. making the damned excuses for whatever failures or problems you have had? Do you know how lame and asinine it is for somebody like you to be living in a country like this with as much opportunity that we have, and you run into some rough spots along the road, and you say, it's because of slavery. Are you kidding no, me? I'm not Aren't you embarrassed? That's, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. you misunderstanding what I'm saying because you're not allowing me to finish. Oh, yeah? That's that's what you. That's what it seemed like I'm saying. But what I'm I telling thought I you, was sitting right here on my big fat white butt, allowing you to finish. Now all of a sudden no, I'm no, finding no, out I'm, I'm not. I haven't said any of that. I haven't said any of that, sir. Okay. And I'm just telling you. Just you just said that, I'm not allowing you to finish. Uh, right, yep, but go so ahead, I'm not go saying ahead, yeah. what you're telling me. Listen, you making your argument towards me right now. Now you always espousing logic, reason, rationale, but you being irrational right now because you espousing that I am making a statement that my, that the premise of me calling you is something that I'm telling you directly is not what I'm saying, and and I, and I'm asking you to allow me to finish yep, what go I'm ahead. saying, and I'm allowing you to finish me what I'm saying so that you can see my point. Okay. Okay, so the point that I'm making to you is that I'm not trying. I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to play the race card. I'm not trying to play the wow, wow. Oh, I'm black. Oh, I'm on welfare. Oh, my my baby daddy in prison. Did you know? I'm not. I'm not trying to play that game because I still think that I'm responsible for the choices that I make in my life. But what I'm saying is, when a group, when you have, when you have a, a group. I'm sorry, that's my baby. I'm sorry. When you when you have a group of people who have a certain type of mentality, that's 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 what they think. You know 
what I'm saying? You can't that they 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 have a direct that the way they think is directly result of the way their mama thought and the way her mama thought. You know what I'm saying? It just get passed down through the generations, and even you acknowledging that by saying the way what happens with people who are living in a different country who made a bit who may who may have grew up in Stalinist Russia or who may have grew up under Hitler. I'm not saying that uh, that you because you're a successful white person are wrong in any way, form, or fashion. I'm not okay, saying you're wrong not, for being okay. white. Or being now, now, okay, Tiffany, what I said, and this, this all came from my discussion on the national anthem, and I was agreeing with Bill Press when he said, what's this about the home of the brave? Does that mean that there aren't brave people somewhere else? And I brought up a young woman in Afghanistan who might be pursuing an education, knowing that if the Taliban catches her pursuing an education, they will shoot her dead on the spot. I brought up a young woman in Somalia protesting and becoming an activist against female genital mutilation, knowing that some of the uh, fundamentalists in that country would execute her on the spot if they got a chance to. And then I said... These are brave people. We have people in this country that can't even face retirement without government help, while these people over there are putting their lives on the line uh, uh, for the causes they believe in. And uh, that that's what I... And then all of a sudden, you call up and you're upset with me. You plug a racial compu- uh, a component into it. And you, Belinda, you tell Belinda, I disagree with Neil about blacks on welfare. That's why I took the call. Where the hell did I disagree with Neil about blacks on welfare? Okay. Where did that, that come that, from? That came, that, that came from this. And, and, and it's, that, that's, that's more of a specific in the general, the general point that I'm trying to make. And the general point that I'm trying to make is, what did you just say? You just say that you just said that it's brave people elsewhere. You said that um, the people that, that that love that will do things despite their circumstances, right? That arise above, that arise above, that what the enslavement that maybe they have had, right? The things that maybe that are out of their control, that are out of their control. And then you talk about uh, talking about the the psychology of a person who can't even go into retirement. Of, without government dependent, and I'm saying that the psychology of that person is a de- direct res- um, a direct effect. It's, it's a direct response to a cultural issue of if, of slavery. It's kind of like the point you you know you know when you you know you said something uh, like and I'm telling you that that is a convenient excuse. It's a convenient excuse if you if you if you didn't experience that. It's, it, I mean, it looked like a convenient excuse for you because you don't know what that's like. It, look, it, it looked like a convenience for you because you grew up with the father. It looked like a convenience, uh, inconvenience. Now, are, are you, did, did you grow, is your baby growing up with the father? No, nah, he in prison. He in prison. He, I, I didn't make, I, I'm telling you, I'm a, well, like, this, this, this is, this is why I get, get, get like I get about it because honestly, I've been, I've been kind of like, um, torn about all of this. Is because, he in prison because, because of slavery? No, 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 I'm not, listen, I'm talking about because it's the effects of it, and that's what I'm saying, and if you, if you, if you keep ignoring that, and just, and just dis, dismissing the people, and dismissing the fact of why the issue is what it is, instead of just moaning and groaning about the results and how it's pulling, you know, people like that are, you know, um, leeches of society and all this different kind of stuff, but you, you completely ignoring the reason and the why, and, but you can acknowledge it in, in Russia under Stalin, you can you can acknowledge it with, with Obama, but you can't it just it take the personal element out of it and just say, okay, this is how people like this act when this happens to them, when this happens to them, and that's all I'm saying. So if somebody, it's, it's kind of like you again. You brought up I, 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 the only reason that I even have a problem with this, and they just saying, oh, this, forget this cracker, he racist, da because I get what you're saying. Because you made a point a long time ago where you brought drew the comparison and you said that black Republicans are like uh, to, to to Democrats are like slaves that left the plantation. But and and I start to think about that, and that's actually when I t- became a conservative. Now, mind you. You're talking to a, a 34 year old black woman who is a conservative who is on welfare. I got I got the Obama phone. I got I mean whatever you need about whatever government process you can think of. I, that's me. I'm you don't really call it. Who you, actually? Not, not Tiffany. You, you don't you don't really call it an Obama phone, do you? 
Huh? You don't really call that an Obama phone, do you? They, I'm telling you, we really call it an Obama phone. I can say I go to the, I go to the store, right? I go to the, I go walk up to the store. I go to the hairdresser, and people be like, "Oh, I got my Obama phone, girl. I got my Obama phone." And 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 this ain't that's like a good thing. I'm telling you, Neil, and it's a re- and, and it's and it's sickening. And I'm telling you, I get it firsthand. I get it firsthand from these very people. I am though that person. But when you said that comment about uh, the slave leaving the plantation, that's when I really began to study Marxism. That's when I really began to study politics. That's when I really started just um, studying Plato and Aristotle. That's when I got on the Internet and found syllabus of the kids who went to Yale and went to Dartmouth, and I started following along in the syllabus doing exactly what they was doing because I knew reading what they was reading because I knew that I had that something was wrong. I was tired of my life being like this. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now let me let me ask. Okay, <laughs> Tiffany, because I mean, you know, uh, I, I'm enjoying the heck out of this call. But let me ask you this: What uh, I, I admire you studying these philosophies and these people. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing day to day? I can see that two plus two is four, but I can't get to four. And and the thing is, and then I got people in in like I can I can got people success all around me. I love America. I can't stand Obama. I get you know what I'm saying. I got all of these things, but I can't get there. And I realize there is something so deep rooted in me. There is something so almost like I was born with it. You know what I'm saying? Almost like I, you know you grow up and you hear about crackers and you hear about this and you see this and you see and they have an effect on you. You know what I mean? And your mama don't know what to teach you because come on. I may know what to teach her. I mean, you okay, know, when Tiffany. They, after the Emancipation Proclamation, you know what? You know what the slaves did that from Alabama, from my, from my, my family? They didn't leave. T- they didn't Tiffany. They didn't share coppers and Tiffany. stayed on the same place. Tiff- sweetheart, Tiffany, look, I've got, I got about 45 seconds. And right now, I am feeling, I'm, I'm kind of choked up over concern and actual affection for you, Tiffany. I, I, I feel that you're hurting. I, uh, I don't like this feel your pain. I don't want to sound like Bill Clinton. But, but Tiffany, you, you have to understand, honey, you, you are a smart woman, and you have the power within you to change all of this. These other people do not control your life, nor do those circumstances. Tiffany, you have the power to change every bit of this. You really do. Okay. And this, and and please, uh, I want you to send an email. I want you to send an email to the show, uh, and I know you can do it because you're on the web all the time. Uh, and I want you to give me a way that I can get in touch with you, and I'll talk with you off the air when I get back home and things aren't such a mess, because you've got what it takes, Tiffany. You just have to believe in yourself, okay? Okay. Okay, honey. All right, bye. Okay, you be good. Uh, you, You hear her starting to get upset? She really, really wants to make this thing work for her. She really does, and she can, and we'll be back. Neil Bortz has always been on edge, and he's never followed the rules. What will he say now as a short-timer? Don't miss a day of the Bortz happy ending every day through January. Isn't it something? A car, a call starts out in one direction, and before it's over, it's going off in a com- toward a completely different horizon. The Bortz happy ending.